So in a groove like this, it's real tempting to just, you know, assume it's D minor. That's what the guy yelled, right? So D minor to C. Okay, great. Uh, it's tempting to just hang on that minor pentatonic and, and blow through the chords that way. It's, it's fine and that's going to work, but there's an opportunity here to look a little deeper. What we have... There's something in that that G and the D voicing that is really pulling my ear, that, that 11, and it doesn't feel minor to me. So when is a minor third not a minor third? When it's a sharp nine. The old Hendrix chord, we've got the major third, there's the seventh, but there's the sharp nine or the minor third, the F nine. So yes, a D minor. <laughs> Pentatonic is going to work wonderfully, but what we can do to give this a little more reach and a little more focus in our solo is acknowledge the major third that is in that chord. When we get to the C, you could sure sit, stay on the D minor pentatonic, but again, there's an opportunity to acknowledge that C with its money tone, the third. There's that E. It just gives us a little pull. So if all of a sudden I'm thinking of this, not as a D minor, but maybe a... that and the the note I'm really keen in on here is the E the third of it if you're in a D minor pentatonic you'll never that note doesn't exist so you would be missing this cool money tone I've attached chords play over it leave the minor pentatonic and see if you can get something out of it by including the major third of the D the F sharp and see if you can include the third That minor second pull from the F sharp to G is so compelling. Puts me in that, you know, tumbleweed rolling down the prairie vibe. See what you think. Check it out.